today by today uh, the Auto Trader pre-race concert feature, Old Crow Medicine Show. The two-time Grammy winners received a great honor in 2013 being inducted into the historic Grand Old Opry. And their class is single, Wagon Wheel, received the RIAA's platinum certification for selling over one million copies. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you guys wouldn't mind, would you go ahead and introduce yourselves and tell us what instrument you'll be playing today. I am Critter Fuquay, I play the banjo. I'm Chance McCoy, and I'll be playing the guitar. I'm Catch Secor, I play the fiddle. Corey Yance, I'll be on drums and mandolin. <laughs> I'm Morgan Janik, I play bass. Hello, I'm Kevin Hayes, I'll play a six string banjo. Okay, thank you so much. I know this is your first time visiting Bristol Motor Speedway. Tell me what your first reaction was when you walked in. Well, we've been so excited about this gig since um, we confirmed it uh, several months ago, but to, to step out onto the track, it's really an unbelievable feeling. I can't believe how short it is and how high the banks are and that y'all are going to go so fast around it. So we're really honored to be here. It's, it's quite a thrill. We get to do a lot of really cool gigs, but nothing like this ever. And we've been a band for um, going on 17 years now. And I've never been in a place like this or done something quite like playing the Bristol Motor Speedway. It's quite an honor. So just by looking at you, um, you can kind of tell that maybe you met Dale Jr. in your past just here recently. Did you have any idea he was a fan of yours? Well, we're big, bigger fans of his. Is that all right to say? Yes. We're kind of rooting for him. <laughs> I, you and I think uh, at least three quarters of the city. <laughs> Did you ever imagine in all the crazy things that you guys get to do that you would unveil a paint scheme? Well, uh, Mr. Earnhardt Jr. was really kind to in include us in the, uh, in the pulling back of the, um, of the cloth in which we revealed the new paint job on, on his car, and it was really cool to be there. We did it in Nashville, and, uh, and really exciting. I think um, you, got to, you got to be, uh, you pulled it back a little bit, didn't you? Oh yeah, that was that was exciting, especially when we started to pull it back before they told us to do that. <laughs> okay, so um, for those of you who may not have um, seen their latest album, it features the state of Tennessee's flag on it. Why did you guys decide to use that? Well, being members of the Grand Old Opry, being um, an old-time string band, and being so involved in, in the um, preservation of traditional music in our state, we, we really feel like a Tennessee band, even more so than we do feel like a Nashville band, we feel like a Tennessee band. And we, when we play, you know, we sing about Tennessee in Australia and in Norway, and they all sing along, and, and they love Tennessee in Norway. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about your touring schedule. Um, this we've got a really exciting schedule coming up. Um, we've got, uh, this is the kickoff for our year. We've been playing the Opry a whole lot over the winter, but this is really our first show. Uh, it's 30 minutes long, so we're, that's not too much to ask after four months of um, a sedentary lifestyle. <laughs> we've, um, we're, we're, we're glad to be um, kicking it off here in Bristol. We've been playing music in the Tri-Cities regions for 15 years. And the Tri-Cities was really the place that we wanted to get big. We didn't really care so much about making it big in Nashville. We just wanted to be big enough to play Kingsport. And I guess, I guess we have. So what can we expect from your new music? Uh, well, we've got a busy tour schedule, and, and there's always new songs um, cropping up. So we'll probably do some more writing between Omaha and Pensacola and Peoria and all those towns. It's a bit like um, the, the race circuit, you know, you, you get to see the country when, when you agree to become a professional musician. So we'll, we'll do a lot of hard traveling and have a lot of fun and bring a lot of smiles to a whole lot of people across the country, just like y'all do. Great. If you don't mind, we'll, we'll open it up to a couple questions and then uh, we'd love to hear you just play a little. Uh, you were talking about being in the Tri-Cities, uh, played down home in Johnson City a ton of times. Uh, just talk about playing that venue in Johnson City down home so many times. The, the down home is, uh, we've, uh, we've had a checkered past with the down home. Uh, we, it's a really wonderful place. Uh, it was a hard uh, slot to get back in 1999 when we first went knocking on the door. Um, and uh, with the kind of uh, moonshine that you could bring into the place, 
Um, you weren't standing all that long at the down home as you were. Anyhow, it was the kind of place where you could um, uh, really have a wild time, and uh, and they still do throw down at the down home in Johnson City. It's probably my favorite small listening room in the country. There's an intimacy to it. There's a real appreciation for uh, traditional sounds in the in the in East Tennessee that uh, that at the down home I think they're most appreciated. Sam. So being from Tri Cities, you had better have loved racing as well. Um, but why Dale Jr.? What is it about him that makes you just love him? Well, Dale's got a, um, a, a kind of a, he's like a country singer, kind of. You know, it's all about legacies in country music. It's more about your story than it is about e even who you are. That's the thing about country music that makes it so powerful. It's, it's got those archetypes. And uh, he's a Carolina boy. And uh, you know, this band started in North Carolina before we ever thought to cross the line. It was a lot cheaper to live over here. <laughs> so uh, we moved to Tennessee. Uh, but you know, we've, we've got roots in the Carolinas. And so much of the music that we play is rooted in, 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 uh, in that part of the country that Dale's from. But I think in particular, just the, the legacy that he carries, that's what country music is all about. It's something passed down from a forebearer. It's something that you don't learn to do. It's something, rather, that you inherit. Steve? Uh, Steve Richards with PRN. First of all, I think Critter Fuquay is the best name ever. Uh, <laughs> it's not my Christian name. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, so what? Did you guys um, grow up liking NASCAR as NASCAR fans, or did you did you root for Dale Senior? Do you remember that far back? Or? I think I rooted for Cole Trickle from Days of Thunder. I believe that was my first NASCAR. Getting the biscuits at Hardee's in the little car and poster of Cole Trickle. Perfect. Do y'all want to? Did you like get in one of these race cars and be fast? Are you a fast driver? I'm a Defensive driver. <laughs> That's what I learned in defensive drive. Uh, with the song Wagon Wheel and the line from the Cumberland Gap to Johnson City, Tennessee, is that was that in the original Bob Dylan version, or is that something that you got to added to that? We added uh, all of the, the the lyric beside the chorus to that song. So um, I've taken off some flack for my for roadmap reading skills when I placed the Cumberland Gap squarely west of Johnson City. Uh, or east, I can't remember. I just know it's, I picked the wrong direction for my driver to be heading west from the Cumberland Gap to Johnson City, as it's a good bit north and west of here. Uh, but you know, that was a song when, you know, I'd never been to Johnson City except for to the Greyhound bus station at 2.30 in the morning when I was 15. But I sure liked it. It had a ring to it, Johnson City, and I knew that it was going to be a song that people were going to want to sing, and that that line was going to be exciting for folks. And you know, when I hear Scotsmen with their brogues singing it in Glasgow, it give it a little impersonation of what that would sound like. <laughs> the brogues, kind of like you know, what should I say? Johnson City, Johnson City Tennessee. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Or for example, when we sing that song down in um, you know Botany Bay or where where we play down in Melbourne, Australia, it might sound more like uh, Johnson City, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> so you really can see that Johnson City and and uh, and Bristol Fly Association has been brought around the globe with this song. That's great. Just so you fellows know, we have another press box upstairs. I'm going to ask if they have any questions. Andrew streaming live on NASCAR.com as well too, which is the most popular website. No questions. Great, we've got one more in here. Oh no, I was saying NASCAR is the best. Okay, the oh no no, it's a potential. Sorry. Okay. Would you guys mind? Yeah. Me? Thanks a lot for having us here. We're gonna render a song for you and then we'll get out your way and get back to the races. Well, you know, it's that time of year up here in the Tri-Cities. 
Suckering it on the vine, and the old tobacco crop's about this high, boy, just percolating out of that Rocky Mountain ground. <laughs> yes, that's right, it's tobacco season up here in Tri City. Oh, take me back to my shack number nine. Take me back to my Sideways, so we slim up. <laughs> wow. 